start this video off with putting some Vaseline on the lips. Then I'm going in with the Too Faced RX. Um, RX? No, I don't think that's right, but it's some sort of sample face primer by Too Faced. And then I'm going in with an oldie but a goodie. You know how you have stuff and you forget that you haven't, then you use it, and then you're like, why did I stop using it? This is the Kat Von D Lock It um, Concealer, actually. I am in the shade Deep 34, and I like to use the concealer as a foundation because I just like to do that. And I do feel like it gives me really good coverage, and it doesn't get um, shiny on me, so I like it. Love it, actually. Now I'm going in with a beauty sponge from Morphe just to make sure things don't look crazy. <laughs> and then I just like to go in, you know how I do with the second layer, just to make sure I can cover my acne scars as much as possible. So now I'm going in with the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Pure Beige and just using that as a highlight. All the stuff that I'm putting on my nose and chin, I am not um, squeezing out extra product. That's just what happened to still be kind of coming out of the tube, so I used it. And I'm using that same brush as by Morphe um, that I used to apply my foundation to buff that into my skin as well. I meant to use a different foundation brush, but that was the only one I had on me at the time, so I was just like, just... I kind of I like halfway baked um, I don't really need to bake with this foundation because I don't really get shiny or oily or anything like that because that's just how bomb this foundation is but I do just like to leave it on for like a three to five seconds or something just to just to say I did <laughs> Yes, that J. Cole did just happen. <laughs> and now I'm just taking whatever little product is left over on that brush and just using that as kind of like an eye primer because I already kind of had a little bit left over on my eyelids, so I just kind of blended that in. Um, and now I'm going in with this palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I cannot remember what it's called. I'm looking right at it, but I'm too lazy to get up. <laughs> this is the shade Morocco, and I'm just using this as a crease, kind of, like a little above my crease. And just going back and forth with a fluffy brush. And then I'm going in with a totally different brush. This has nothing on it. I'm just blending that Morocco shade to make sure that it um, there's no har there are no harsh lines. Then I'm taking the shade Fudge, putting that on the outer corner, and then taking that more into the crease, like the actual line of the crease, if you will. So at this stage in the game, I take the color Pink Champagne and I sprayed some primer on it really quickly just to make it a little more intense. So I sprayed some primer on my brush, oh, no I'm sorry, I put my brush in Pink Champagne that's in the same palette, spray the brush with some primer and then put it on my lid. So that's what's happening now. And again, just blending, 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 making sure we have no harsh lines. And all I did here was take a little bit of product, whatever product was left on that same brush that I used for foundation and highlight and use that as kind of a primer for my lower lash line. And I'm taking that shade Fudge and putting that on my lower lash line with a um, pointed brush. It's like I'm trying to stay in frame, but I didn't want you guys to see that ugly face I make when I put <laughs> put stuff on my lower lash line, but hey, it's happening. Um, and there I'm just taking the brush that I use to blend and, what am I trying to say? Just blended that bottom lash line. Here I'm taking LeBron's. Um, this is by Artist Couture. It was um, Jackie Ina's collaboration. 
and I'm putting that on my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, all that jazz. And I never put highlight there, but I decided to do that because why not? And there I'm just trying to blend out the highlight because I felt like I got a little heavy handed on that side. And just setting everything with some more of that primer that I use for pink champagne just to lock in. That's the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Just using that to lock in my foundation. Okay, so I waited until later to put lips on, but you'll see the final um, look in a little bit. So just curling my hair using a curling wand. And I just decided to speed through it because it took a while for me to do this. and. Obviously, you don't want to watch 10 minutes of me using a curling wand, so here's a little sped up version for you. Okay, so I had to hurry and put some clothes on, finish curling my hair. So this is the finished look. Looked? No. This is the finished look. Don't know what's up with my lighting, but it'll get better in a little bit. So yeah, just some kind of loose wavy curl type situation going on. I ended up putting on some Ardell 120 Wispy Lashes. And here's a look much later. Um, I ended up putting on Ruby Kisses from Gerard Cosmetics on the lips. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until next video, see you later. Bye-bye.